good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back. Today is day five of the our online global self-awakening retreat. And it appears to me that the energy is building up and things are getting more interesting. As we come together as one unified field, we get more connected because we're diving into this space that has been created, this field, uh, the unified field of oneness. That's how I explain what, what is fifth dimension. And my explanation is a unified field of love, a unified field of oneness, that there is no second one in it. So it's only one. So there is not another. It's just the one. So we're diving into, we're disappearing into the oneness. So you can't be this person who's carrying this garbage bag of personal history and become one. Because in this emergence into the oneness, the person has to disappear. So you can't bring your stuff into fifth dimension with you. It's just impossible to enter into the fifth dimensional consciousness. You have to let go of your personal story. And I know that there, a lot of people are very attached to that story. Even though they go through a life, a lifetime of trying to free themselves from their emotional baggages, the traumas, the damages that have been inflicted to them through life. But in the same time, there is this deep investment into the story. And the proof is in the pudding because do you, do you hear me? Am I being hurt? I want to make sure the mics are working. There's no background music. So and also, I wasn't aware that we had um, blocked the chat box, so we have opened it up. So if you have a question, you can write it to me. And, uh, or if you need to communicate, let me know, and then I unmute you or unmute yourself, and then uh, we can talk when the time comes. So anyway... It's just not possible. It's impossible to carry the garbage bag that we talked about yesterday. I believe it was yesterday that I was talking about it or a couple of days ago of our personal story and wanting to become one with God, wanting, having the desire of the union, having the desire to enter into a fifth dimensional realm of consciousness, to elevate to this higher level of consciousness, then you ha there's a price to pay. You have to give something up. And that's how it is uh, with anything. Anything of value has a price. That's the way it is. You have to pay the price one way or the other. 
and for fifth dimensional consciousness, arriving to this higher level of consciousness, even if we don't call it fifth dimensional consciousness, higher level of consciousness, this place that spiritual seekers from all over the world are seeking for it, which is freedom from suffering, which is inner peace, which is entering into this place that you're in a state of bliss and you're no longer are being dragged down by emotions or thoughts, by fear, worry, anxiety. and freeing yourself from all of it. But you have to pay a price. It does not come free. It's not a free thing. One way or the other, it has a price you have to pay. The number one part of it is that the time and dedication. You have to get centered, you have to get focused, you have to get dedicated, and freedom has to become your priority. It's got to be your number one priority in life. If it's not your number one priority in life, then that means it's not that important. Something else is more important to you. Everything I say is just simply very easy to figure out. Very easy to understand. Super easy. It can't be any more easier than this. That if I prioritize something else, let's say I'm going to prioritize my business or taking care of my wealth or taking care of my kids or taking care of my animals or taking care of my land or whatever or my beauty my looks my body whatever is my number one priority so that's where most of my energy is going through Check it out. Check yourself out. See, when something is your priority, where your attention is. Your attention goes in that direction. So, if self-realization, also self-realization, enlightenment, awakening, these are big words and been used a lot. So, you need to kind of sit with yourself and be honest with yourself and figure out what do I mean by self-realization? What do I mean? What does freedom mean to me? Okay? Because some people think freedom, self-realization means is a utopian style of life. That we somehow raise our vibrations, we enter into fifth dimensional consciousness, and then we are in this rosy life that everything is great, everything is in harmony, everything works in accordance to what we think, in accordance to what you think, basically, what a utopian life should look like that there is no death, there is no violence, there is no disagreements, there is no competition, there is no ambition, and people are egoless.